Okay, let me show you this hot mess on this lift gate. Um, some people tell you you can't get your uh, pinch hitch on one. You can. All these will have extension right here. Um, there's my pinch hitch. This hitch here comes out and it has this vertical part here. This is a curt, one of those curt ones. Um, and then this is uh, another L. So I call them L. Some people call them T's. Comes out here. This is a 12 inch extension. This is a 20, 18 inch extension. And since it's so long, I have it supported here with one of my 10 foot chains. You don't want it to get very long out without supporting your stinger. Under here, here's my wiring. <laughs> and you'll have to tie into the truck's wiring. It's just, basically this is color coded just like these. So you just match the colors on here. Now this is extension, this is a, a oh, extension I made. It's about three or four foot long. And it's for buses, trucks that don't have a plug. And uh, I got, I don't know, can you see? Yeah, you can see them. I got the posi taps and they go right into the wiring all in one place. And then it comes, you know, it goes back this way and comes out. And I have it hooked into an extension here. But I have my pinch hitch chained right here to the um, lift gate so it can't go forward if it's I'm hitting the rear, which I almost was in Billings. Um, anyway, we're coming out here. Let me get out and I'll show you what I've got on the outside. Okay, this is my typical setup here. But here I come out with my stinger. I got uh, this turned upside down with my ball on it. Yeah, I'm testing it up, make sure it's still tight. This is a lift gate. The thing is, I do have a diamond hitch that would work on this, but that brace is right in the center. And I prefer to keep my car in the center. Hold on, let me get up here. Just have one of my 10 foot chains over here. Um, I would preferably to have some people will use straps coming to the sides, two inch straps to support, you know, give that a little bit more support. I'm totally for that. I just don't have no two inch straps. Some people also um, uh, put a piece of chain or strap or something on these lift gates to keep them from coming down if you got one that bleeds off this one was bled off when i picked it up but so far over the rough colorado rough ass colorado roads it hasn't come down and now i'm up in montana and this is why you take box trucks to montana so anyway that's my setup for this lift gate uh, you can get your pinch hitch on them I would much rather use my diamond plate if that um, hadn't been in the middle. I would have. I had a brand new one. You can get those at Tier 1 Fabrication. You can get just about every hitch you need at Tier 1 Fabrication. So, uh, And I would like to have two inch straps going to the sides to prevent much movement. I do have those anti-rattle brackets that help, but they're not 100%. You know, you still get some sideway movement. My chain is also helping, so you can see it's probably pretty, yeah, it's tight. There was a lot of up and down movement, so I, I pulled it all the way up and then chained it. Okay, I'm here at my location unhooking. I just want to give you a kind of a little bit better view here. I had to put my bolts, one on the extension and one on the original frame. And the reason I had to do that was so that this part, jack so sometimes you just have to do stuff like that i don't like to do that uh, I, 
I would prefer to both be on there. Both sides the same way. And it's another to me, uh, this, this, this double thing. I, I don't like it. Ooh, I lost my fuel receipt. But anyway, I want to show you that. Show you this setup again. I, well, let's see, this part here. I'll see if I can find the box. I got it at Walmart. Um, it's okay for my car, but uh, Chris at Tier 1 makes a much heavier duty one. I'll probably get that when I upgrade my tow vehicle. Uh, but this allows you to use drops like this. But anyway, I just wanted to show you that. I had to kind of overcome this. And let me get this all unhooked. And I'm going to get out of here, get my money, and go trout fishing. There you go. That's how I did this lift gate. Uh, any questions, leave them down below.